Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Moss, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Log Observer Connect in Splunk Observability Cloud. Log Observer Connect allows us to query logs inside of a Splunk platform instance from Splunk Observability Cloud. So as you can see from this architectural diagram, data sources will produce logs, and those logs are pushed to a Splunk platform instance, either a Splunk Enterprise or Splunk Cloud. And once those logs are ingested into a Splunk platform instance, Log Observer Connect will be able to connect to that platform instance and query logs, and you can view those logs from within Splunk Observability Cloud. Let's briefly go over how you would connect your Splunk Ali Cloud organization to Splunk platform using Log Observer Connect. I'm going to navigate to my Splunk Ali Cloud organization. From here, I'm going to expand this sidebar navigation menu and I'm going to navigate to settings. And then I'm going to scroll down on the sidebar menu and select Log Observer Connect. And you can see here that there's already a couple of Log Observer connections set up. If I wanted to create a new connection, I'd simply click Add New Connection. It then prompts me to select either a Splunk Cloud Platform instance or a Splunk Enterprise instance. I'm gonna select Splunk Enterprise. It then takes me to a setup wizard which outlines all of the steps that I'll need to take in order to integrate my Splunk Enterprise instance with Log Observer Connect. The first thing that you'll need to do is create a service account in your Splunk platform instance. And the reason for this is because the Log Observer Connect feature is going to connect to your Splunk platform instance using this service account's credentials. And in order to create a service account with the right authorization, you'll need to create a new role in your Splunk platform instance and specify which indexes that role has access to. Another important thing to note here is when you're setting up the role, you'll want to set the user search job limit high enough so that your Log Observer uh, Connect users are not uh, backlogged for their searches um, if the limit is too low. As you can see, Log Observer runs a minimum of four searches per user. And if you follow this link, it does provide some guidance on how to calculate the appropriate number for the search job limit. Once you've created a role with the appropriate authorization to specified indexes, you'll then create the service account uh, dedicated for Log Observer Connect and assign the role to that user. And then the final step is to secure the connection to Splunk Platform. Remember that we're trying to connect to a Splunk Enterprise instance, and that instance is going to have a certificate chain that um, Log Observer Connect is not going to uh, trust by default. We'll need to uh, add that certificate to Splunk Observability Cloud so that it will trust that connection and we can uh, connect over a secured connection. So first, these instructions specify that you need to make sure that uh, port 8089 on your Splunk platform instance is open to the internet. And then secondly, you need to add a certificate to your Splunk platform instance if you haven't already. If you already have SSL certificates installed on your Splunk platform instance, then you can pretty much skip these steps. Uh, and what you want to do is just grab the SSL certificate for your Splunk platform instance, because in the next step, you'll uh, paste it into a field. So I'll select next here. So on this next page, we'll actually enter the connection details, including the service account, username and password, the Splunk platform URL, uh, we'll give the connection a name. And then finally, we'll upload the platform instances uh, SSL certificate. Once you save and activate this connection, you should be able to navigate back to Log Observer. And once you're in Log Observer, you'll be able to view and query the logs made available through that connection. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, we'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching.